carry up on the highway, so somebody said, well, we've got a B-36 laying around, let's just strap it underneath and fly it up there. So that's what they did. It, is anyone here who was involved with that, that project? Bill, Bill, you want to come up and help me out here? I'm too young to know these things, you know. <laughs> come on, Bill, come on. Everybody knows Bill Plumley, right? Okay. Everybody worked for him. That's right. I worked with him, not for him. Well, this this thing, uh, when we first went to talking about it, it seemed like an impossible situation to go put an airplane under another one and take off with it. And you know, we had to get special dispositions because we had we couldn't raise the gear. We took the number three and the number uh, four engine propellers off so that we could operate it well with that. And then uh, it was really kind of a piece of cake after that. We just strapped the thing, just strapped the thing underneath there and had some good guys around like, like uh, old Bill and, and guys like uh, Mike. You guys have kept us, we just kind of put it together they made a few drawings and we just went to put the thing together to, it would stay on our twin hand right back to the Air Force Base. So that's really about what all happened. It just we just hung it on the bottom of the airplane, took off with uh, all engines full bore except number three and number four recepts. And they were of course removed from the airplane because of the uh, no way you could have the uh, Propellers, you couldn't even, well, when he got that thing under there, you can see it there. You, you know, that, that, that thing was right in the way of the number three and the number four props. We couldn't raise the landing. We couldn't, we couldn't raise the landing here. We, we, we really spent a, we took a bunch of gas to take that thing up there, man. It had the darndest drag on it that you've ever seen in your life. And, uh, but they were real pleased with what we did. We took it, we took it to Wright Pat, and that's, that's, that's the airplane that did most of the the structural test on. But uh, is there any questions I can answer for you? you the bomb doors off? No. It didn't want to land when it got there either. Well, <laughs> the bomb doors were taken off and it had, that's how we fit it and then fared it in around the fuselage, at the bottom of the fuselage. But guys like Bill and, and Mike Curtis and these guys that, that were working with us, engineering people on it, and we just, put on some new angles and what have you, and put some skin on it and got the thing where it would, would stay together and away we went with it to right back. What about the vertical stabilizer on the Well, that was a good We headed off. That wasn't a part of the structural test anyway. <laughs> we had removed it and just took the fuselage. That's what they were wanting to do, is to take the wings and the fuselage area it was put on, back on, when we got to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bumley, what about the landing on that? Well, I wasn't in problem at all. We'll see that. <laughs> no problem. We, we'll, no. See, we'll see Come both on. landings. You, you'll, see it, you'll see it land here on this film. It, it really wasn't a problem. Now, what kind of cruise speed did they do on the way up? Man, don't ask me that. I don't know. But it was slow, slow and lots of gas, you know? We used we use jets most of the time all the way up there, you know. Had, had four jets and, and four reciprocators yeah. running all the time. We were going up there and, and all of them stayed running. That's, that's, that's a little different for a lot of us, you know. Anybody else? Anything you'd like to ask? Jack Baldrige. Jack Baldrige. What was the flying time? Oh, about... Uh, Five hours. Can you imagine it? A little little trip like that, five five hours of flight. You can tell how much drag was on that airplane. You know, we were just barely moving through the air, really, with that thing hung under there like that. Any anything else I could answer? Okay. Stick around, Bill. Uh, there may be some more. Uh, starting here in our sequence of pictures, 
I had a phone call early one morning. A guy found my name on our website. He called and he said, I just sold some pictures on eBay and I thought you might like to see them before I ship them out of here. So I said, you betcha, Red Rider, and I went down and, and got them. And what we have is the landing sequence starting here. Chase plane goes on over. And there are photographers all over this airfield. There, there must have been 200 photographers up and down both sides of the runway. And down he comes, and, and these are in about 10, 15 millisecond increments here. Almost down. Touchdown, the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real long runway either, is it? Right. So um, here he's uh, bringing it down again, a little further. And mind you, these things were being sold on eBay. It just blows me away. All right, finally got it on the ground, a little bit further, down to the end of the runway, and about here he turns around, and you can see here there are only two props on this, this wing. And back down he goes, down to the waiting crowd and the waiting photographers, and you can see all the people lined up over here waiting for this thing to show up. And here, here's a good close-up view of the uh, B-58 shape strapped up under the plane. <laughs> and that's a uh, close-up of the, the supports and all. And uh, I guess you've all seen the pictures of the uh, space shuttle strapped on the top of the 747. Well, if things had gone on just a little bit different, they would probably use the B-36 to carry that space shuttle. Anyway, you can tell I like to play with electronics and graphics and you can anyway. You can, you can look at these colors and know that that's the old seventh bomb wing, too. <laughs> Actually, that started out to be a Navy version of the B-36. Thank God. The uh, previous photograph. What, is, what are those uh, devices in the wing? Those Klinkos? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they were doing. Yeah, those uh, little... Uh, White things you see on there, that's Clecos. That's when we were putting it together and uh, setting it up for, uh, to rid the thing on the, on the, on the, on the fuselage. Oh, thank you. Clecos. <laughs> yeah. Somebody else has a question. I did, that reminds me, one time I, during the B-24 thing, at the latter part of it, I had an airplane fly one day and I got to looking at it and uh, they'd taken off with, one of the, a bunch of these Clecos holding a panel on out on the right hand outboard <laughs> leading it. So we've had some real experiences in that regard. Anything else? Go ahead. I guess not. Thank you, Mr. Plumley. And uh, that, that's all for me. Uh, Mr. Adams, I think, has a video. Come up here, Bob.